Most bands and artists protect their music through something called copyright. When an artist copyrights their songs, it means other people are not allowed to use these songs for their own purposes. However, many less well-known and well-established bands and artists make their music freely available for anyone to use. And a great site for finding music, which you are free to use in a book trailer, is mp3.com. mp3.com is easy to use. Just go up to the top and hover your mouse over the words free music and you'll see a menu which lists different type of music. In this case, we'll click on classical. Now you'll see a list of songs which fall into the category that you've selected and you can click on the yellow arrow at the right hand side of the song name to download it. Note here that we're downloading in Google Chrome. If you're downloading the same thing in Firefox, after you click on the arrow and click on download, a dialog box will appear. In the dialog box, click on save file, then OK and then you'll be allowed to save the file where you want in your computer. Remember that you must take a note of the name of the artist and the song because you must credit them in your book trailer. If you're looking for sound effects rather than songs, soundbible.com is an excellent site. When you get to the site, it gives you a list of different types of sounds on the home page. This can be a good place to get started. For instance, if you are making a trailer for Bram Stoker's book Dracula, you might want to click on Horror Sounds from the list of sound types. This opens a list of different sound effects, and you can get a preview of an effect by pressing the play symbol that appears next to each title. When you find a sound that you like, click on its name. You'll see on the next screen that underneath the title of the sound there are links to download both WAV and MP3 files. Either one of these options is usually fine, so left click on one of them to start downloading the sound. The name of the person who created the sound is a little harder to find in this website than in mp3.com. In the text underneath the song name, you will eventually find the words recorded by and then the username of the person who created the sound. Again, be sure to take a note of this. Finally, it can take a long time to find the songs and sounds you need. Scottish Book Trust have compiled a large selection of clips which pupils have found helpful in book trailers in the past, and these can be found in our Glow page. The link to the page can be found in the learning resource which accompanies these videos.